Chapter 971, I'm going to protect you, 1. After dealing with the hidden dangers, Shen Yang Xiao handed Shen Jie's body to Shen Jiai for him to deal with it. There was one more thing that she found strange. At the beginning, when she and the young man met in the Forgotten Traces, he really seemed fixed on buying Yin Jujun. However, so he and Yin Jujun appeared to be afraid of him. They were unwilling to follow him no matter what, and even fled at the risk of being killed. So he and Yin Jujun were slaves, and it was normal for them to be sold to any owner. However, their fear towards the young man was by no means fake. At that time, they also did not know her identity, yet they were more willing to follow her. The only explanation for this was that they must have known something, and therefore they did not want to follow that man. Could it be that? So he and Yin Jujun knew the warlock's matter. Shen Yang Xiao frowned a little. After Yin Jujun and Su He came to the Rising Sun City, they had been doing their best. She really did not want to suspect them of anything. However, this matter was rather very important. Hence, Shen Yang Xiao still asked Vermilion Bird to find them. City Lord. As soon as Yin Jujun saw Shen Yang Xiao, she immediately revealed a bright smile. Shen Yang Xiao did not like to let Yin Jujun follow her around all day, so Yin Jujun could only follow Su He, and occasionally attend to Shen Yang Xiao's daily needs. City Lord. So he displayed a courteous manner. Yin Jujun had now become more and more pleasing to the eyes. Her face that was beaming with smiles was not full of panic and despondency, and so he was becoming increasingly handsome and bright. The two people had undergone tremendous changes during their days in the Rising Sun City. Take a seat, Shen Yang Xiao said. Yin Jujun and Su He sat accordingly. Shen Yang Xiao looked at the two people who had changed a lot and said slowly, I called you today because I have a matter to ask you about, City Lord, please say, so he responded immediately, so he, why did you escape from the hands of that slave owner in the forgotten traces at that time, the man who wanted to buy Jua before, did you know him, Shen Yang Xiao did not beat around the bush and ask the main point directly, however, Shen Yang Xiao's question made the faces of Suhi and Yin Jujun become pale in an instant. City Lord why would you ask this? Suhi appeared to be calm on the surface, but his eyes could be seen with a little panic. I saw the man on that day today, so I wanted to ask you. Shen Yang Xiao evaded serious matters and took up trifles instead. What? So he stood up from his chair, full of shock. At this moment, the panic on his face could no longer be concealed. Shen Yang Xiao noticed the abnormality of Su He, but she did not open her mouth to speak. Su He's complexion was ugly, and Yin Jujun's face was also deathly pale. City Lord. So he suddenly went down on his knees before Shen Yang Xiao. There is something we have not said to the City Lord but we did not intentionally conceal it, it's just that Jua and I want to live an ordinary life, I ask the city lord to forgive us, the reason why that man would appear in the rising sun city, I'm afraid it's related to Jua, although I know this is presumptuous of me, I still want to appeal to the city lord to save Jua, please don't let her fall into those people's hands again, so he heavily knocked his head on the floor and his tone was unprecedentedly dignified, big brother Su Yin Jujun's two eyes were now suffused with tears, she bit her lip, not knowing what to do, Shen Yang Xiao outside and helped Su He up, even if you beg for forgiveness, you still have to tell me what is the matter, since I am the one who brought the two of you back to the rising sun city, you are my people, I will naturally take responsibility for both of you, so he looked at Shen Yang Xiao and he was moved emotionally, city lord, to tell the truth, that man is not a good person, he is a member of a mysterious organization, chapter 972, I'm going to protect you, too, oh, Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrows slightly, sure enough, so he knew about it, so he slowly told everything she knew to Shen Yang Xiao, similar to what Shen Yang Xiao had guessed, so he and Yin Jujun knew the existence of that group of people, moreover, so he himself was an experimental product of those people, but his body was only integrated with the characteristics of two races, dragons and dwarves, that was also why he was very clear about ores, so he was just a failed product. He was able to escape from the organization only by an accident. Unlike Lan Fenglai, Suhi's value was not high, 
so they did not pursue his matter too much. So he was desperate and had nowhere to go until he finally fell into the forgotten traces and was treated as a slave. In the forgotten traces, he met Yin Jujun. As a man who had once been tortured by the experiments of those people, at a glance he saw the special characteristics of Yin Jujun. Her constitution simply made her the best test subject for that group. Therefore, when that man appeared, so he had fled with Yin Jujun. In his view, the simple and fragile Yin Jujun was like his little sister. He could not bear to let Yin Jujun fall into the hands of those people. In those people's hands, even if Yin Jujun survived the experiment, he still feared that she would become a monster. Therefore they fled, and fortunately met Shen Yang Xiao halfway, which changed their situation. When so he heard Shen Yang Xiao mention that man today, he immediately realized that Yin Jiaqin was likely to be the target they were seeking because of her constitution. He knew that he was not their opponent. He could only pray that Shen Yang Xiao could protect Yin Jiaqin. He also knew that his deliberate concealment was likely to bring damage to the rising sun city. Therefore, all these days, he had devoted all his life to his work in the rising sun city in order to make up for his own inner debt. Shen Yang Xiao quietly listened to everything he had said. Looking at the tear-stained face of Yin Jujun, she sighed in her heart. This was just an ordinary girl, but because of her constitution, she had provoked such a great trouble. However, that man appeared in the rising sun city because of Lan Feng Lai, which meant that they did not care about Yin Jujun which might also be a good thing, only in the future, she would still have to take better care of Yin Jujun. These things don't matter, as long as I'm in the rising sun city, I'm going to protect you. That person has already been killed, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Shen Yang Xiao spoke to dispel Su He's worries. She just wanted to know the truth, she really did not want to scare them. So he was slightly surprised. He immediately thanked Shen Yang Xiao unceasingly. Shen Yang Xiao comforted them for a moment and then allowed them to go back. However, her heart could not calm for a long time. How many people like Yin Jujun had been eyed by that group of men? Because of Lan Feng Lai, Yin Jujun was ignored. However, if it were elsewhere, she feared that not everyone would have such good luck as Yin Jujun. Lan Feng Lai, Yin Jujun, and Shen Jiuai. They were all still children who had yet to reach their adulthood. However, because of their constitution, they had gotten involved with the experiments of that group of people. Shen Yang Xiao didn't consider herself as a good person, but her heart also had its own bottom line. Since these people had already taken refuge with her, she must protect them all. If in the next days, if those people really rose to the surface, she would not yield in the slightest bit. If she couldn't even protect her own people, then wouldn't she be too useless? Anyone in the rising sun city was her person. And as long as she was alive, she would not let her people be wronged by anyone. Chapter 973 Evolution 1. The people in the rising sun city had no clue about the danger they were going to face in the future. They were still bustling about as before and living their own comfortable easy days. However, Shen Yang Xiao had already put the plan of strengthening the rising sun city on the agenda, and the higher demons had already been handed to Xu. She believed that with Xu's strength, there should not be a problem. After the higher demons were trained, Shen Yang Xiao planned to let the higher demons train the middle and lower demons according to Xu's methods. She would integrate all the demons in her hands and turn them into a demon army that would shake the entire Radiance continent. Besides those demons, the slaves who had been bought by her also needed to be upgraded. Shen Yang Xiao had already made an agreement with Long Fi to buy medicinal herbs from the Blizzard City. She believed that it would not be long until some news should return from Long Fi's side. As long as medicinal herbs were in her hands, she could then concoct physique improving potions. Although it was impossible for the slaves to be compared to people who cultivated magic and duchi from an early age, it was still definitely better than being an average person. Shen Yang Xiao did not expect any senior professional to come out from among them, but if all of them could cultivate up to the level of primary professional, then it would be a big help for the rising sun city. A group of ants can kill an elephant. What Shen Yang Xiao wanted was to turn every citizen into a soldier. There was also that group of individuals under Uncle Ju whose physique had been transformed beyond that of ordinary people. If they were trained, 
the result would be even better. Shen Yang Xiao hastened to catch up with all the plans for the future development of the rising sun city. But she had not had time to tell the news to other people when Vicious Wolf had rushed into the City Lord residence. City Lord. Something's wrong. Vicious Wolf rushed in front of Shen Yang Xiao, panting. What happened this time again? Ah? Exclamation mark. Shen Yang Xiao was speechless. How could things happen one after another? Could she just rest for a bit? What happened? With a sigh of helplessness, it finally dawned on Shen Yang Xiao that it was not easy to be a city lord. Little tiny, little tiny. It's it's sick. Vicious wolf couldn't speak clearly. Little tiny. Shen Yang Xiao was silent. Little tiny was a lower demon of the rising sun city. When the cave wolves mercenary corps had just entered the rising sun city, Vicious Wolf had saved this lower demon's life. Because of that, this lower demon began to follow Vicious Wolf around and became his small tail. Vicious Wolf did not pay attention to it in the beginning, but after a long time, he had also accepted this small tail of his. Because this demon was very petite, Vicious Wolf gave it a name and called it Little Tiny. I have no idea what is going with Little Tiny these days. It's listless. Today, when I went to see it, it was curled up on the ground and its whole body was trembling. I didn't know what to do so I came to find the city lord. Vicious Wolf was almost crying. Although he didn't quite like this little demon at first, after being around him for a long time, he got used to seeing the little guy squatting and jumping in front of him. Right now, Vicious Wolf's face was wrinkled and full of panic. If it were before, it would be quite easy to handle this matter because at least there were Futu and the other higher demons for him to ask about the situation. But now that all the higher demons of the rising sun city were missing, he was about to die from anxiousness. Take me to see it. Shen Yang Xiao sighed. A demon's physique was more powerful than that of humans. Even if Little Tiny wasn't even half the size of Vicious Wolf, it was definitely more tough than Vicious Wolf. Chapter 974, Evolution too. Shen Yang Xiao was also rather curious. What could make a demon have this kind of condition without being injured? Vicious Wolf entered the underground city with Shen Yang Xiao and found Little Tiny in a small cave. Little Tiny's whole body was curled up into a ball. Its dirty looking body kept trembling, and its mouth continued to let out painful groans. Vicious Wolf stood anxiously aside. Not knowing what to do, Shen Yang Xiao looked at Little Tiny's situation that did not seem to be optimistic. Several lower demons also stood outside the cave, looking around. It seemed that Little Tiny's companions were worried as well. The lower demons had no ability to speak, so Shen Yang Xiao couldn't ask them the reason for Little Tiny's situation. As a last resort, Shen Yang Xiao could only ask Xu, who was at the training field for help. After Xu heard the situation of Little Tiny, a trace of knowing the situation emerged on his handsome face. Don't worry, I'll go with you, Xu slowly said as he looked at Shen Yang Xiao who had a big question mark above her head. Good. Shen Yang Xiao nodded her head. She could not help but stretch out her small head to look inside the training field. Xu had been honing these higher demons for quite a while now and she was not clear how the progress was. Let's go. Watching Shen Yang Xiao's peeping actions, Xu's thin lips brought up an almost undetectable arc that was even unknown to himself. Shen Yang Xiao brought Xu to the cave where Little Tiny was, and Vicious Wolf who was rushing around everywhere in anxiousness became terrified after seeing Xu behind Shen Yang Xiao, who would tell him why was there a man in this world who looked even better than a woman. Vicious Wolf looked at the golden eyes of Xu in astonishment. His tall body instantly turned into a rigid wall, standing motionless. Who is this great god? Golden eyes. Wasn't this the eye color that only the god race in the legend possessed? The moment Xu appeared. The lower demons outside the cave immediately escaped. No one dared to stay there any second longer. Well, take a look at it, what's the matter? Shen Yang Xiao shot a glance at the petrified vicious wolf and sorrowfully sighed. His heart's ability to bear stress was also rather minuscule. Xu only swept it with a faint glance and said, It's all right. It's all right? But it looks in pain, very much. Shen Yang Xiao slightly knitted her brows. Xu's speed in assessing the situation was just too fast. He was still at least four or five meters away from Little Tiny, and he just gave it a glance, 
Yet he already knew it was all right. Xi looked at the doubtful Shen Yang Xiao and reluctantly explained, It's in the process of evolution. Evolution? Shen Yang Xiao became even more confused. The demons are creatures that lived in the devil's realm. They rely on the dark elements of the devils to grow. Under the support of the dark elements, the demons will produce certain changes. The lower demons can evolve into middle demons, and the middle demons can evolve into higher demons. Their progress is about the same as that of the human beings. Xu's slightly cold voice, that was without a trace of turbulence, reverberated in the cave, giving people a fascination. The demons can really evolve. Shen Yang Xiao was completely shocked. She had never heard of any demon that had evolved. How the demons were when they came here in the Radiance Continent was still how they were after many years had passed. Nothing had changed. Xu continued to explain. The demons can't evolve in the Radiance Continent because the Radiance Continent has no dark elements to offer them. It's equivalent to taking away their opportunity to grow. All demons were born as lower demons. Only when they cultivate with the help of dark elements can they advance a level. This demon is evolving into a middle demon. Chapter 975, Evolution. 3. Is there really such a thing? Then didn't that mean that the other demons could also evolve? Shen Yang Xiao's eyes sparkled with delight. If this was true, then would this not be extremely great? There were more than 40,000 lower demons and at least several thousands of middle demons in her hands. If they all evolved into higher demons, Shen Yang Xiao swallowed her saliva quietly. If such a number of higher demons were pulled out, it would absolutely scare people to death. Yes. Xu answered. Shen Yang Xiao began to feel excited. She could almost imagine the scene of her tens of thousands of higher demons charging violently around the Radiance Continent. What broken star palace? What warlocks of the forbidden technique research? In front of these tens of thousands of higher demons, what were they? If they would engage in a wheel war one, those people would be the ones dying. Shen Yang Xiao was lost in her infinite, wild, and fanciful thoughts. How long does a lower demon need to absorb enough dark elements to successfully evolve into a higher demon? Shen Yang Xiao asked. Xu only faintly said, at least a few decades to a century. Shen Yang Xiao felt like a bucket of cold water had been poured on her. Decades to a century. Shen Yang Xiao needed a lot of time to accomplish her goal. However the broken star palace could in any minute come into the rising sun city. Forget about a decade, even if it was just two years, she already felt worried. Her blood that was just boiling with excitement a few seconds ago immediately went back to normal. Shen Yang Xia could only quietly go to a corner and dawdle around there. Xu did not stay any longer and left. He could only maintain his corporeal body for a limited time. After solving Shen Yang Xiao's problem. The great master instantly left the cave to return to the training field. Little Tiny's body continued to shiver on the ground, while Vicious Wolf remained petrified at the side. It was not until a long time after Xu had left that Vicious Wolf recovered from his shock. He quickly went before Shen Yang Xiao, his face filled with surprise. City Lord that that one is, Vicious Wolf continued to have a hard time talking. Golden Eyes. Was that not a feature of the legendary god race? How powerful was their City Lord in the end, that she could even get someone from the extinct god race? Was he really not dreaming? Shen Yang Xiao looked at the horrified expression of Vicious Wolf. She narrowed her eyes and said, you didn't see anything at all and you didn't hear anything. You must remember this. Vicious Wolf was stunned. However he still awkwardly nodded his head in front of Shen Yang Xiao's ferocious gaze. Well, after Little Tiny completes its evolution, bring it to me. Shen Yang Xiao said before leaving the cave with her complicated thoughts. It was a good thing that the demons could evolve, but this evolution took a long time. It seemed that for the time being, she could not place her hope in the evolution of the demons. Watching as Shen Yang Xiao left, Vicious Wolf could not help but sigh in relief. Before they built this city, the city lord was a pure youngster. It had not been a long time since then, so how could she become so scary now, so unlike her previous self? When Shen Yang Xiao fiercely stared at him, Vicious Wolf almost forgot his own name. But, who was that beautiful man in the end? He had never seen him in the Rising Sun City. And it seemed that the demons did not like him since they all immediately left the cave after they saw his figure. However, 
Something was not right with the color of his eyes. Vicious Wolf stroked his chin. He was truly curious regarding Xu's identity, and it appeared that their family's savage city lord had an exceptionally proper attitude before him. Such thing was truly rare. Unfortunately, no matter how curious he was, he dared not take this matter outside and gossip about it with anyone else. Shen Yang Xiao had already told him to keep his mouth sealed, or else if he dared to go poke his nose into it. Vicious Wolf could not help but shiver from thinking about what would happen to him. 1. Continuous sending of an army to fight by batch until one side is defeated. Chapter 976, Pharmacists, 1. After experiencing a series of disturbances, the rising Sun City had finally welcomed a period of tranquility. Shen Yang Xiao, as a city lord, would patrol her own territory daily. From time to time, she would accompany Shen Feng to chat with him, she would also teach Nan Gong Meng Meng in her warlock cultivation, and occasionally, she would go to the oriental city to see the progress of the construction. Her life was simply comfortable. Not long afterwards, Long Fi sent a message that Blizzard City was willing to accept the conditions of Shen Yang Xiao before, they would provide Shen Yang Xiao with a certain amount of medicinal herbs at the lowest price. Of course. There was a certain quota, but compared to buying in other places, the amount of money she would spend under this agreement was very favorable. Shen Yang Xiao immediately wrote a list of medicinal herbs, after which she let the people of Blizzard City take it back. On the list were all the medicinal herbs she needed, these herbs were not particularly precious, but the quantity that Shen Yang Xiao wanted was relatively large so she could only look for Longfi. Longfi's work was also very simple. After receiving the list, the medicinal herbs were sent to the Rising Sun City in just a few days. A team of wagons from the Blizzard City drove into the Rising Sun City, bringing a lot of medicinal herbs. Shen Yang Xiao paid the money and immediately let her people move all the medicinal herbs to the City Lord residence. She especially made a pharmacy room in the City Lord residence in order to facilitate the preparation of potions. With medicinal herbs in her hands, Shen Yang Xiao started a frantic rush in the pharmacy room. Since she had already planned to turn every citizen of the Rising Sun City into a soldier, she would naturally make her people all sorts of physique improving, duchi and magic potions, all these potions were essential. Adding up the people in the rising sun city and oriental city together, there were already several thousands of them. She must allocate these potions in the shortest possible time so that ordinary citizens could begin their cultivation as soon as possible. Shen Yang Xiao started to spend her time behind closed doors making the necessary potions. At the same time, there were also the five members of Phantom on the other side. These five youths who had been carefree all day, after experiencing the shock from Shen Yang Xiao's advancement to the second stage profession, also started to be strongly determined to succeed, putting down their usual cynicism and beginning their crazy cultivation. Nan Gong Meng Meng was also cultivating. Because Shen Yang Xiao was not available during this time, she could only study the cursed techniques by herself but her brain could actually keep up and there was not much difficulty. The collective strike of the higher demons of the demons trade union caused the cave wolves mercenary court to become aggravated with the all tasks. Du Lang was busy with a group of mercenaries all day. His heels could not even touch the ground at all. Therefore, beneath the calm surface, the important members of the rising sun city were all busy in private. In addition to occasionally eating a meal from the pharmacy room, Shen Yang Xiao would never step out of the room, even when Xu was to go to the underground city, he would just let the dark mist float there, after which he would form his body. In a hurry, Shen Yang Xiao buried her head in a pile of potion bottles. A series of formulas was circling in her head. She deeply felt that with the current growth of the rising sun city, being the only pharmacist would really make her unbearably busy. However, she did not feel at ease to use an outsider pharmacist. After all, many of her own potion formulas were very rare, and there were also a lot that were privately formulated by Yi King. If these were cheated away by other pharmacists, it would be too late for Shen Yang Xiao to cry. In the end, Shen Yang Xiao crawled out of the pharmacy room after seven days of seclusion, and at the same time she also made a decision. She would select a group of talents who could study pharmaceutics from the local citizens of the Rising Sun City. Thereupon, 
Chen Yangtze Hour issued a notice in the city on the same day, for the local citizens of the Rising Sun City who are below 30 and over 10 years old, if you are interested in learning pharmaceutics, you can go to Uncle Ju's side to report your names, Chapter 977, Pharmacists, 2. Hey all, there's an event for the 1000th chapter happening and will close next week, so if you haven't already, check it out. Why was the age set to below 30 years old? Because what the pharmacists needed the most was spiritual force, and a human being's spiritual force had been finalized after the age of 30. Even if Shen Yangxiao used 17 or 18 kinds of potions to improve their spiritual force, it would be very difficult to cultivate them into a genius pharmacist. Furthermore, ordinary people's ability to learn had already begun to decline after the age of 30 so she had such requirements. This was the first announcement issued by Shen Yangtze out of the city since she became city lord. Suddenly, all the people of the rising sun city from top to bottom sprung to action. As long as they were below 30 years old, they squeezed themselves into Uncle Ju's place and registered their names. Uncle Ju had counted the names and in just one day, there were already a thousand people who had registered, and there were still some queued up outside who had yet to enter the door to register. The enthusiasm of the citizens had overwhelmed Shen Yangxiao. About one to two thousand people had come to register. If she were to test these people one by one, she felt that it would take her forever. Helpless, Shen Yangxiao could only take out the crystal balls that could detect their spiritual force. These crystal balls were all bought at a high price from the merchants of the Long Xuan Empire. There were a total of 30 pieces. The user only needed to put both of their hands on the crystal ball, after which it would detect the strength of the spiritual force of the user. After the screening using the crystal ball was over, only a dozen people met the criteria of Shen Yangxiao. If one thought about it, the citizens of Shen Yangtzeo were basically all slaves. People who had been reduced into slaves did not have a very great strength nor physique, otherwise they would have long been picked out as hatchetmen. Of these dozen people, only five were slaves. The remaining few were the villagers who had escaped from the sun graveyard together with Uncle Ju. Shen Yangtzeo was surprised when she saw the several villagers. Soon she understood the reason. Although these people under Uncle Ju were all failed products, their bodies still had undergone some transformations, and among them, there were those who had been fused with the race of elves. Apart from having innate talent in archery, the elves also had another skill, their mastery in pharmaceutics. And these villagers who were here right now should have the characteristics of the elves. But what surprised Shen Yangtzeo most was that Yin Juchen was actually among these dozen people. The spiritual force of these people was in line with the pharmacists requirements. Shen Yangtzeo did not personally teach them yet. She just directly handed the pharmaceutical books to them and allowed them to delve into it. Of course, these pharmaceutical books were all provided by Tang Nazi to show his friendly feelings, and Shen Yangtzeo had long transcended the contents of these books. Tang Nazi was still holding on to these pharmaceutical books in memory of his lost pharmacist journey. These people were also very motivated because they were originally selected due to their spiritual force, they were quicker to get started with concocting potions. Especially the few people who came from the sun graveyard, they were able to concoct some low-level potions almost by the fifth day. Although the degree of success was somewhat low, at least it could still be considered passable. Shen Yangtzeo was draining an army, cultivating the citizens, and cultivating pharmacists all for the sake of the rising sun city's future. However, looking at the entire Radiance continent, only Shen Yangtzeo could be so generous as to enhance the strength of all the people in her entire city. Which city lord did not want all their people to become soldiers? But the citizens of the other cities would just probably throw their city lord's notices on the back of their heads as soon as they saw them. But the rising sun city was different. Every citizen in the rising sun city from top to bottom had a high degree of admiration and conviction for Shen Yangtzeo. As long as Shen Yangtzeo issued a resounding order, even if they were to collectively drown themselves to death, no one would probably resist. Chapter 978 The Four Regions Tournament, 
1. Shen Yang Xiao had unwittingly reached the peak of centralization. She had not yet realized how much influence she had on the people who live in the rising sun and oriental city. This layer of influence would also create a flourishing future that belonged only to Shen Yang Xiao. At present, everything was still just a prototype. Shen Yang Xiao continued to be busy with carrying out the expansion of her forces. Day after day had passed and the seventh day of the seventh month, when the tournament between all forces of the four regions would be held, was getting closer. At this time, Shen Yang Xiao received an invitation letter. In the hall of the city lord residence, Shen Yang Xiao sat on the main seat, looking at the invitation in her hand. The corner of her mouth slightly hooked up. She had been waiting for this day for a long time. She had not yet forgotten how much trouble Gengdi had given her when she was just building the Rising Sun City. The seventh day of the seventh month would be a good time to take her revenge and release her hatred. She could finally justifiably beat that bastard Gengdi. The tournament on the seventh day of the seventh month is divided into three categories, team battle, individual battle, and group battle. The team battle consists of 100 people per team. The individual battle is the battle between the city lords of the four regions, and as for the group battle every side should send 5 to 10 people. Has the city lord already decided who to bring with you for the tournament? Du Lang explained and asked. Today, all major members of the Rising Sun City had gathered. This was the first time they would participate in this tournament. They wanted to amaze the world with a single brilliant feat so they had attached great importance to this matter. If they came out as a victor this time, the eastern region would stand firm in the barren land from then on. If they were defeated, they feared that the eastern region would be reduced to that once pitiful vast land that had been exploited by everyone again. This tournament would also test the disparity in strength between several cities in the barren land. For the team battle, the most important was the comprehensive strength. The individual battle would depend on the strength of the four city lords, and the group battle was usually a competition between the elites of each city. The winner was the king while the losers would be reduced to bandits. The winner would be able to obtain certain benefits from the other three regions while the losers could only accept the fact that they would be exploited. Which country was the winner of the previous tournament? Shen Yang Xiao asked supporting her chin with one hand. It's the Twilight City of the Seven Kingdoms, Du Lang replied. Twilight City? It's not Blizzard City? Tang Nazi, who was sitting on one side, was surprised by the answer. No matter how he looked at it, among the three cities not including the Rising Sun City, Blizzard City was the most powerful one. Whether it was the personal strength of Longfi, or the quality of soldiers in Blizzard City, or their elites, Blizzard City was second to none. Du Lang shook his head and said, Last time Longfi did not participate in the previous tournament, it was tantamount to forfeiting the match. During the team battle, something went wrong, leading to their failure. The Divine Wind Alliance actually lost the team battle. Yan Yu raised an eyebrow. This situation was even more unbelievable. Longfi was likely not able to attend because of physical reasons. But Blizzard City belonged to the Divine Wind Alliance and the strength of the mercenaries under the Divine Wind Alliance was the best in the entire Radiance continent, it would definitely not lose to any country's military. Du Lang explained, since Longfi did not attend the last match, the team that had been sent that time was not from the Blizzard Mercenary Corps. It was a combination of members from the other four Mercenary Corps. Each of the four Mercenary Corps sent 25 people to make up the 100 people needed for the team battle. Although their individual qualities were strong, since they did not come from a single corps, their teamwork in the team battle was inferior to the opponents. There was naturally no way to compete against the other two forces. There seems to be no harmony within the Divine Wind Alliance. Cheeksir faintly smiled as he muttered. Chapter 979. The Four Regions Tournament, 2. Longfi didn't participate for some reason, but the other four mercenary corps couldn't just sit still and wanted to step foot in the barren land. Although Blizzard City was not a private possession of Longfi, Blizzard City was still the work of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps in the end. In the allocation of resources from the barren land, the Blizzard Mercenary Corps enjoyed the highest authority of distribution and had access to more resources than the other four. In such case, 
Could the other four mercenary groups not be envious? Longfi rarely missed the tournament and because of Longfi, the members of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps also did not have thoughts of participating. This gave the other four Mercenary Corps a chance. Although the tournament was divided in three games, with the strength of the Divine Wind Alliance in sight, even if they give up one game, for them, they could still securely win the other two games. The question was how to distribute the results of these two games. If they could win in the tournament, they could get more benefits by dividing the resources of other regions. The four mercenary corps did not want to pick up small advantages, therefore they agreed to send equal number of members to participate in team battle and group battle. However, they thought too lightly of the opponents. Their team that didn't have a bit of cooperation was then utterly defeated, completely without any chance of victory. The five major mercenary core of the Divine Wind Alliance are evenly tied in status, but because of Blizzard City, the Blizzard Mercenary Core has a tendency to surpass the other mercenary core. If not for Longfi's discomfort these years, I'm afraid that the other four mercenary core of the Divine Wind Alliance would have already been crushed by him. Can they not worry? Tang Nazi smilingly opened his mouth. This sort of gossip about internal strife was his most favorite. So according to the usual practice, the tournament this time should be held in the Twilight City. Right? Yang Zai raised his eyebrows. The tournament on the seventh day of the seventh month would be arranged by the winner of the previous tournament. The last time, it was the Twilight City's victory, so this time, the tournament would naturally be held on their turf. The reason for such a practice was because it took a lot of manpower and material resources to arrange the tournament, hence, the winner who had obtained a lot of resources should be the one handling the next one. The last time, Twilight City gained small advantages, but now that Longfi has recovered, I'm afraid that this year would be another tough fight. Li Xiao I had some regret that Shen Yang Xiao had healed Longfi as it really gave them a strong enemy. But viewed from another angle, Shen Yang Xiao received a lot of benefits from Blizzard City during this time. Who cares about Twilight City, Blizzard City, or Magical Fantasy City? Before the Rising Sun City. They are all trash. Tang Nazi grinned with an absolute confidence. Shen Yang Xiao glanced at the overwhelmingly confident Tang Nazi, she vaguely felt that these partners of hers had greatly improved their strength in the past weeks of closed door cultivation. She even suspected that they had already broken through the second stage. After all, before this, Cheek Xia had already broken through the second stage and the strength of the others had already been at the peak of the advanced professional stage, it was just that this period of time had slowed down the speed of their cultivation, stopping their advancement and allowing her to break through to second stage before them. If they had been concentrating on their cultivation since the beginning, she feared that they would have already made a breakthrough even before they entered the rising sun city. I'm not the least bit worried about the individual battle. The city lord has already broken through the second stage and in the match one can use their magical beast. With the help of Vermilion Bird, there are few others who can match the City Lord. At the very least, Gengdai's contractual magical beast is just a high level magical beast, it can't compare with Vermilion Bird at all. Du Lang felt that in this tournament's individual battle, they had an absolute advantage. The personal strength of Shen Yang Xiao was just really amazing. Chapter 980, The Four Regions Tournament, 3. As far as I know, the city lord of Twilight City has a mythological beast, but he is still young and his personal strength seems to be only at the level of senior professional. Overall, the city lord has the greatest chance of winning. Du Lang had performed a thorough investigation. Clearly, no matter whether it were personal strength or contractual magical beast, Gengdi could not compete with Shen Yang Xiao. And although the personal strength of Longfi was about Shen Yang Xiao's, he fell far short when it came to their magical beast. The mythological beast of the Blizzard Mercenary Corps was now inherited by Long's Wei Ao and Long Fi owned only a high level magical beast now. As for the one in Twilight City, although he had a mythological beast, his personal strength was far less than Shen Yang Xiao's. No matter how one looked at it, Shen Yang Xiao had the highest chance of winning the individual battle. The rest is the team battle and the group battle. Stating the other two matches, Du Lang seemed not stable. If the Rising Sun City sent higher demons to participate in the tournament, it was estimated that the other forces would be no match at all. 
However, they did not know how many experts were hidden in the other three forces, no one knew whether anyone would discover the secret about these higher demons. In particular, the demon's blood was purple, very different from humans. It was inevitable that there would be injuries in the tournament, and as long as a demon was wounded, even if it was just a scratch, it was feared that the secret could no longer be concealed. We won't send any demon in this tournament. People to participate will be chosen from among you. Such a layer of thoughts had also crossed Shen Yang Xiao's mind. Now was not the time to expose the demons in her hands. The team battle needs a hundred people. Even if all of us in the Cave Wolves Mercenary Corps participate, we still need a few more. Du Lang said somewhat helplessly. The strength of the Rising Sun City was indeed great, but it was only because of the few of them who had high level strength and also the demons. Gathering 100 humans who were really strong and capable to participate in the team battle would truly be difficult. Shen Yang Xiao knitted her brows. This issue also gave her a headache. Under her hand, apart from their phantom group and the Cave Wolves mercenary core. There seemed to be no other strong human beings. As for Lan Fengli, she was not prepared to let him participate this time. Lan Fengli's way of handling things was too shocking. It would be difficult to not attract the attention of others. Once his identity was discovered, she feared it would cause her a lot of troubles. Shen Yang Xiao originally intended to put Cheek Xia and Ko, the five animals, into the team battle to make up the number. But the tournament had regulations that all participants could only participate in one game. Once they participated in the team battle, then they could only say goodbye to the group battle. Moreover, although the personal strength of Cheeksia and others was very high, their battle efficiency was basically more from the internal coordination of the Phantom members. If they were to coordinate with the Cave Wolves mercenaries, she was afraid they would still need a period of time to get used fighting side by side. Otherwise they would probably become the second Divine Wind Alliance. Cough. I think I can bring a few people to participate. Uncle Ju, who had been standing on the side and had not spoken since the beginning, suddenly said. Is it all right? Shen Yang Xiao was slightly surprised. She rarely used the people under Uncle Ju and just usually let them take charge of some farm work and the likes. There should be no problem. I can still find a few among them who are capable to participate. Uncle Ju smiled. Shen Yang Xiao took care of them because she didn't want them to feel that they were different from others. She hardly made them do special matters and only let them continue their lives as ordinary people. Uncle Ju was very grateful to Shen Yang Xiao for doing everything for them. Them. Now that Shen Yang Xiao lacked people, he naturally would not sit by and watch. 